hey guys welcome welcome back to another video you know i'm your girl Kian and aldra thank you for all my new subscribers thank you for subscribing thank you for everyone who clicked on this video remember to like share this video and subscribe and in today's video before we go any further um i noticed something because i started posting more on tiktok and i started getting a lot of other questions that i've never really realized but people keep on asking me like how they can move to canada um canada has this target of how many persons they want how they can come to canada so for this video we're going to talk about it canada wants people canada wants immigrants what does this mean for you who is not in canada and want to come to canada i'm going to try to explain it as best as possible as how i know how to and not only in this video but for the videos to come we will be discussing this more because many people hear about oh canada wants people um they want to come to canada then since they have this high immigration target the different rates but there's more to that so yes it is true based on the minister's announcement for 2023 they are seeking 465,000 new immigrants for 2024 they are looking to have 485 and for 2025 a whopping 500,000 new immigrants wow that is the highest in history right and of course why people always also look to canada is because people make it seem like to come to canada it is easy because hey they have this pathway using the express entry or maybe you can get a job whatever you hear right but then what i realize a lot of persons based on the questions i've been getting many of my viewers many persons out there persons who aren't even viewing me but hearing the news you really do not understand how is it really it is to get to Canada you need to understand Canada's immigration system before you think about that oh or listen to what people are saying that oh it's easy to come to Canada or oh it's easy to get permanent residence because even being here I realize some persons who are here that took school pathway they still they don't even realize the options or the opportunities that's really there for them and the real way how to get it because you hear come to Canada or go to school and then get one year work experience and then you apply yeah they have this target right and yeah they want so many persons but not all of that is going towards persons who are outside and just want to come to Canada because you're educated and you have years of experience or you can fulfill a labor market shortage right so in layman terms you who are outside right or even inside of canada even though they have a target to say they need four hundred and sixty-five thousand persons new immigrants right for 2023 not all of that is going to international students not all of that is going to persons who are on work permit and fulfilling labor shortage no it is divided some of it is going to persons who are here already have family members and want family members here some of it is going to humanitarian causes some of that portion is also going towards refugees and then you have some which is going to persons who are educated economic purposes so first thing first you need to know that yes canada wants people but which category do you fall in like you know it's not as basic as they make it seems people ask me all the time how can i come to canada the question you need to ask which i'm going to answer next is do you even qualify for coming to canada where do you fall in all of this where do you fall where do you stand and to know where you stand the first thing you need to know about i say it so many times on this channel and i think maybe i haven't explained it well enough i don't know but if you're somebody maybe i explain it or you understand lucky you thumbs up to you but it has came to my realization that many persons still do not understand this process and i want to make it clear i want you to understand i want you to know where you stand before you start all this process because coming to canada or thinking to 
migrate to Canada, it is not free. Everything costs money. Everything. So the first thing you need to know is what is express entry? So express entry is, let's say, the vehicle towards getting permanent residence in Canada. It is what the government of Canada uses to determine where each person falls in becoming a permanent resident of Canada. In express entry, there are three major categories and these are Federal Skilled Worker Program, Federal Trade Worker Program, and the Canadian Experience Class, right? You need to, first thing first, I said it in a video I did before, know your CRS score, comprehensive ranking score. You can check this, I highlighted it in the video before, how you can check your CRS score. Because knowing your CRS score will tell you what you need to do to get to Canada. And this video today, we won't be diving into details of how to improve your CRS score for express entry. But no worries, I got you. The next video after this that will be coming out, I will be talking about express entry in details. But for this one, the first thing before we get there, please check your CRS score. The link is in the description box down below. Check your CRS score and ensure that you know where you stand because a CRS score Comprehensive ranking score is what the government uses when they're doing their all program draws. So I just told you you have Federal Skill Worker Program, also known as FSW, Federal Trade Program, right? And the Canadian Experience Class Program. So you need to see which one you fall underneath. Each program have different criteria. okay? If you have a bachelor's degree and you have no work experience in Canada, Hence, therefore, more than likely, if you have work experience back home, you'll fall under Federal Skill Worker Program, right? If you have education in Canada or one year experience in Canada, you would fall under Canadian Experience Class. And if you have no bachelor's degree, do not worry. There is a Federal Trade Worker Program for you. That program is for persons who are skilled persons and have a certification of qualification at least from Canada. Certificate of qualification from Canada. Maybe it's in plumbing, whatever it is. Or you can have a job offer. So if you have no degree, that's okay, honey. That's okay. You have no CXC, but you have your years of experience as a plumber, electrician. That's okay. Once you can get your certification of qualification for your skills, then you can use the federal trade worker program why your crs score is important again after you check your crs score you look at um where you fall the thing is yes the government of canada is doing draws every week or every other week right but if you have a crs score that is 300 and something you're way low if you have a CRS score that is 400 and above 450, you are at a good spot based on past draws. However, today it has gotten so competitive, right? And with that being said, it is up to you to decide, should I wait a year and see, hey, where they actually go with all these draws? Will they come closer to my score or should i just take the plunge and go find another pathway because best believe just like me many persons said oh you can migrate to canada easily you're educated you have a bachelor's degree and you have experience in engineering but what many persons do not know is that you can have a bachelor's degree you can be married and getting more points but at the end of the day your points even having a bachelor's degree having a partner and being married and being 20 something 26 27 your points is still not as competitive as it needs to be your points is still not as competitive as it need to be shocking right yeah it was after checking my CRS score and realizing i was somewhere about 443 and then after turning 
27 i think we dropped three points right and went to 440 it was realizing from that i'm like oh they really do not draw this low in a while and that's when i decided with my husband that you know what is best for us to do the school pathway because in our case we are educated we can go to school and we could afford to go to school which would give us more points so similarly if you however is with someone who has a bachelor's degree and you have a master's in your case now you would have more points than we do because we didn't have a master's then right and doing just a master's why we decided not to do a master's in jamaica versus doing it in canada you get more points when you actually study in canada you do because if you study in jamaica or elsewhere in the caribbean and you do a master's chances are and you're still in your 20s let's say you haven't reached 30 or even if you reach 30 31 and you have one master's between you and your spouse you are still going to be at 470 something 480 the most 480 the most and that's stretching it right and even being there i know persons will say oh this is a good range to be at but if you look at the trends over the years back then they were drawing as low as down to 460 so you would say okay you can limit paying international fees and remain in your home country but the question I asked myself at the time, right? I looked at it and I said, is this dream something that I really want to achieve? Or is it just, I really want a master's, but you know, I don't need to go to Canada. That's the import, that's, it depends on your level of importance. Where do you place it at? Because when I was doing the numbers, to do a master's in Jamaica or elsewhere in the Caribbean, it, was, it wasn't cheap either. It was expensive, just the same. It was expensive. So I was like, I want to spend the more money, get more points because my dream and my goal is to be in Canada. Knowing well that when I finish studying for a master's in Canada, I would have a point score somewhere around 518, 5. 17 right meanwhile doing it in jamaica i would be finishing with somewhere like 475 you see what i'm saying i stand a higher chance when i am finished doing it my masters and not only that but when studying in canada i am not open to if i work because you get a postgraduate work permit at the end of your studies no i can get accepted into canadian experience class that's another option I also have a better chance standing for provincial nomination. So it was more, it was more perks or opportunities, more benefits for studying in Canada and Spain international school fees than staying in Jamaica, still paying a high tuition. And then at the end of the day, hey, I ain't gonna get a raise of pay just for doing a master's in Jamaica and even for many persons if you do do a master's and you get a raise of pay it's not that much anyways so i was like you know what i rather take my money and ensure i put it somewhere invest it somewhere where the benefits or the rewards are more so you have to evaluate your situation look at the different categories see where you do fall and figure out what is best for you that's one thing the next thing is a lot of persons you say canada want people a lot of persons be like oh i can get a job and move to canada but to get a job in canada it is again not as easy as they make it seem because again that employer will have to pay for an lmia for you right they have to prove to the government that they cannot find anyone in canada to fulfill that role hence why have you heard recently international students can now work full-time any amount of hours that they want because once again the government of canada is always looking out for persons who are in the country so before they say okay let's just um ensure that employers let's risk um lessen the restrictions for lmia and seek other persons outside of the country because they can 
because they, they have a labor market strategy they really do they say you know what let's try to help out persons who are here qualified and can fill these roles to help us to target the problem that we have so getting a work it's not as easy as you might think it is it's just a harsh reality not saying it is impossible because it is not but being in Canada you have more opportunities one of the reasons why people say Canada is easier than the US is because Canada has the express entry pool and they have the different um, provincial nominations where hey if an employer in this province is interested in you then they have a pathway through the province where they can help you get that work permit quicker right but it is not as easy as a b c you have to know the pathways you have to know what's the best way how you can do it because chances are if you're looking for the easiest pathway the freest pathway one you might have to wait a good little while and two you have to be careful because the scammers are alert and ready playing on people's fear we are coming to the end of our video but before i go let me reiterate what i'm trying to say yes canada want people right but you see this want that canada want just like you everybody will want something we want it for the benefit of us canada wants it for the benefit of them just as though you have the desire to come to canada many people have the same desire too but the thing that sets people apart is who can actually afford to do certain things that's just the truth if you are have the better qualifications because the thing is if you want to come to canada you really need to sit and realize where you fall what do you have to offer to come to canada maybe for some persons i know maybe you don't have a bachelor's maybe you don't have that nice degree because even the persons who have bachelor's and master's are still competing with persons who are here like myself international students who also have bachelor's and master's but you see what's up for me is that i am here you are outside they are going to go with who is here you gotta give yourself a timeline like you gotta say okay if i'm going in the express entry pool I need to give myself a year right if you have a year to give you know your age you know everything about you because once you start aging again you start losing points so you need to give yourself a timeline have some goals to the down and say okay based on the trends will they reach my CRS score that's very important to see because if they are not reaching it means that hey you need to find another pathway you need to pack up your things and stop sitting around and waiting for a handout because trust me Canada ain't coming to you to hand out anything if you're not in the best interest of Canada like I said even though they have 465,000 targeting persons for 2023 it's not just about persons who are in express entry it's not just about meeting labor market shortage no it is also about reuniting family persons like me who maybe we are here already and we need our family members they need to help persons who are here to feel at home here so that we don't take up our things and go somewhere else so everything that canada is doing is in the best interest of canada so check where you're at look where you're at check your crs score whether you have a degree or no degree check your crs score know that if you know whether or not you qualify for express entry if you don't qualify for express entry no, no wrong there are other ways to come to canada okay maybe you don't have a degree you can't qualify for any of the trades or any of the pathway because you don't know maybe you're a plumber and you don't know how to get that certificate of qualification that's okay because there's a way to get it if you want that video and you're watching this please comment it so i know to make a video about that but say you do have a degree and you're competing with other persons like me check your status know where you stand know what your goals and aspirations are how do you benefit canada because don't sit down and listen to people and people say oh yeah canada want people easy for that kind of easy in a easy and in a cheap right it's not easy and it's not cheap 
so I said it all I tried my best to um, give you a broad overview about how you can come to Canada and in my next segment I'll be talking about the express entry and this one will be for persons who are qualified for express entry look out for that video it's the next video thank you so much for watching this video and if there's any question or anything that you weren't clear on or there's anything at all that you missed or you want to know more about I for me personally I love researching I don't know why I just do leave the comment down in the description box below please do not be afraid to ask your questions because trust me enough people want to ask questions and they're afraid and then you send me a message and then somebody else also have the same question and then I'm like okay you know but ask ask man and persons if you see somebody ask a question and you know the answer don't be afraid to answer each one help one all the best to you on your journey thank you so much for watching this video and remember hustle grind execute bye